mostly painful if you flinched or if the gun wasn't lined up straight. It's a tool most veterans would recognize. Part of the time, you know, it worked fine, but any other time, uh, a lot of times, you know, the gun, people would get cut and, you know, folks, you know, bleeding after they got their inoculations was fairly common. The jet injector was used for years in the military setting to quickly distribute vaccinations. We would uh, usually do 2,000 cadets, two guns in the space of an hour. While they don't have needles, sometimes they would cause bleeding, which may have exposed veterans serving between 1965 and 1985 to hepatitis C. And of course, I came back positive. Jeff Constock was diagnosed with the virus in the early 2000s and quickly began treatment. He was a big advocate for the free testing clinic for vets at Camp Johnson this weekend. I know what that uncertainty feels like, and so I'm really excited to have folks come here because um, because they this is the first step in that process. It's just a quick finger prick and a 20 minute wait for vets looking to start that process. There are nurses here today to counsel them about the results and if need be refer them to the appropriate uh, medical attention necessary. A potentially life saving test for those who have already given so much. First step in making sure that their own health is in is in a good place. The site is open Saturday from 9 to 4.30. In Colchester, Rachel Cars, NBC5 News.